When you run a backup job, Veeam Backup and Replication saves data and metrics to your configuration database. This allows you to generate reports and view live metrics of those backup jobs, allowing you to make educated decisions and changes in your environment. Let's take a look at our Veeam console at the various reports and metrics that we can view on our Veeam backup jobs. Now, once we're inside the Veeam backup and replication console, getting access to that historical data and metrics is simple, and we can do it a handful of ways. The easiest by starting off by going to the backup section and choosing a backup job that we want to get those results. Here, we'll pick on this Veeam Explorers backup job with these three VMs, and we can get access to even more data by right-clicking and choosing that statistics option. Now a new window pops up, granting quite a bit of data, and starting at the top, we'll see job progress. Now here, this job is already ran with success with 100% job progress. We can also get extra information, such as this summary tab that showcases the amount of time it took in order to process those workloads, as well as the processing rate, which is the average processing speed of the VMs inside of that backup job. Now the bottleneck, which will always showcase the slowest point of transmission in this situation is the backup proxy. Now in the middle of the screen here, we see data. Now the amount of data process is the total amount of uh, disk space or data store usage of those virtual machines. Now the red and transferred, you'll notice is staggeringly different. This being an incremental run, we've read the total virtual disk, but only transferred the change blocks that have occurred since that last run. Hence why we see 11.8 gigabytes transferred versus the 43 that have been read during this backup job run. With status, very simple here. We have three virtual machines that have been successful, zero warnings and zero errors. Now, if I were to see some warnings or errors, they would populate here in these metrics, but these metrics we see now are specific to the entire job. If we're curious about specific workloads inside that virtual machine backup job, we can select those machines and see what took place in those particular workloads. This window's great, real quick way of manually accessing the results and statistics of that backup job. But what if we want to go back in time, see historical data of these backup jobs? Well, I can leave this window and I can go to our history pane here on the lower left hand side. Now, by default, you may not see this in your console. So here with these double arrows on the right hand side, we simply click there and choose history so it populates as an option. Last thing being, we may need to drag this bar up in order for it to show up as a quick option. In doing so, we can make that selection and not only get metrics and results of those backup jobs, but sure backup, replication. You'll see here on the left-hand side, it's quite a bit of options that we can use in order to get that data. So if I go into that backup job, go into this file server, and double-click will then open up that same window. Now what's nice about this is it's not just the last run of that job. I can also use my arrow keys on the keyboard in order to scan through different runs of that job. You'll notice here we see the job start date change and we can get those different results. Again, a really great way to get this in a manual method. Now, if I want to get this automated, now by default, we do have notifications of the results of backup jobs, and there's two ways we can get those. There's a global setting here in the top main menu under general options, and then under email settings and notifications. We want to ensure these are properly set during that configuration period. But if I jump into my notifications, I can see what notifications will be emailed to me on a daily basis. So once I've made those elections, I can then go through and start seeing those reports automated and in a manual method. So if I right click, just like we did for those statistics, I have the reporting option. Choosing report will then go ahead and generate a report, which we'll do now in a live manner. And this will get us information in a bird's eye view. This is an easy way to consume the historical data of these backup jobs. Now this is something similar to what you'll see inside of our email notifications, but I'm a big fan of how this is color coded. If I see this green, nothing but good stuff. And you'd expect that out of a demo lab, but every good demo lab has some failures. So as I scroll through this historical data, we may see some issues that we've had to tackle in the past. So here, as I scroll down, keep scrolling. Now we have a failure. So notice we failed to delete a VSS snapshot. So for VMware, 
That's been patched, therefore we've had some successes since. But as I keep scrolling, notice I have some warnings as well. So for example, this warning lets me know that I'm running low on free disk space. This is great. Get this holistic view of my virtualized environment. So these reports possess more than just making sure VMs are backed up. Again, these reports can be pulled manually, but can also be configured per job by going in, editing that backup job, and making sure that those are sent at a basis that, that fits those needs. So if I go into storage and then advanced, I can then go into my notifications and get email notifications about the performance of the job. Getting notified about the results is paramount. And Veeam makes it simple with our easy reporting in these tools in order to get access to that rich knowledge. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune into Veeam.com for other educational videos. Thanks again.